In just a few weeks, repairs will be complete on one of the most historic structures in Indiana. A hailstorm back in June caused major damage to the dome of the West Baden Springs Hotel. Tonight, our Jenny Runovich takes us onto the roof for an up close look at the restoration. Find me a roof in Indiana with more history that's endured more struggle and returned more stunning than the West Baden Springs Hotel. Its iconic dome brought back from near ruin is a survivor standing strong for more than a century. Eighth wonder of the world. I, I, that's all I can say. I mean, they, they, it is the eighth wonder of the world back in its day. But that architectural marvel atop this national historic landmark met its match last summer. I've never seen anything like it. On June 25th, the skies of Orange County went from calm. You're talking hail that's bigger than my fist. To chaos. And all you heard was shattering glass. Taking a catastrophic hit in a hailstorm. The first thing was, oh my gosh, is, is everyone okay? They were, but that famous dome sustained serious damage. Every single pane of glass, 77 in each of the 12 panels, punctured, 924 total. They were all damaged. There wasn't one that survived. It wasn't just the glass. Tiles, shingles, metal cupolas hurt too. Millions of dollars in damage. Dings and dents destroyed 90-some roofs across the French Lick Resort property. You can see that one there. It took pretty extensive damage. That one took some pretty good hits. But the most prominent needed the most immediate attention. They closed the atrium to guests right away, and a contractor got to work on restoring history yet again. And he, he said to me, he said, when do you ever get to work on a structure like this? He said, we want this. For the past nine months, crews have been bringing it back to life on top of the dome. It's not your normal roof job. Let's put it like that. I mean, it's totally different. Replacing the glass was the biggest challenge. They had to come up with a 21st century fix for 120 year old materials. Well, we looked at hurricane glass. That was one of the things we looked at the original glass. They settled on something called Lexan. These new panels aren't glass at all, but made from a thermoplastic polymer. It's shatter resistant. Hail bounces right off. It's 250 times stronger than the glass. So it should be able to take a once in a hundred year storm, hopefully. But the actual work. It's been a job. Wasn't easy. This really has been a painstaking process. Crews couldn't use much machinery. They really had to carry all the materials and supplies up the scaffolding over the roof by hand. Then once they got up here, they had to hook onto a chain and a rope and scale down the dome to place all of the glass and shingles. Just watch crews on their stomachs tethered to the dome 130 feet in the air, pulling off the damaged panels one by one, leaving gaping holes straight down into the atrium. Good luck if you're afraid of heights. Perched precariously, these guys spent months putting all these panes back in place. You can see the clear difference between old and new. Up here, you can also see where hail left its mark. The shingle works nearly complete. They're now about to replace clay tiles on this membrane. Most of what was damaged was original to 1902 and has to be attached carefully. We'll go like something similar to this, and this is where it kind of start. And check this out, yeah, the original glass you can now keep. The resort is selling coasters made out of what fell in the hailstorm. Some panels from the 1997 renovation, others even older. Hexagon piece, see that? Mm -hmm. That is 1902, that's original. For more than 100 years, part of the magic of this place is its ability to come back from catastrophe. They've done it before and now. It's been really a labor of love to put it back together. It's being reborn again. In West Baden Springs, Jenny Runovich, 13 News. What a fantastic story. How about Jenny Runovich walking around on the dome roof? That's pretty cool. So the resort told her that repairs to the dome will be finished by the end of this month. In fact, there's another historic restoration at West Baden going on right now to a building abandoned during the Great Depression. In fact, we got a sneak peek inside. Check this out. This is the Bowling and Billiard Pavilion, which is near the Hotel Garden. This has been vacant since the 30s, even lost a wing years ago. So construction crews had to protect it from flooding. Soon it'll have bowling lanes, pool tables, arcade games, a pizza parlor, and a bar, plus outdoor event space. So we're bringing it back to life. Uh, it's probably the largest structure on property 
uh, that we haven't restored yet. And we're bringing it back to the same life that it had 100 years ago. The resort says the new pavilion should be open by Labor Day.